finally made it to the Motor Expo. This place is a fucking zoo. Look how many people are everywhere. Alright, let's go walk around and see what we can see. It's kind of a weird name for a company when everything's got two wheels. Get a big camper. It's built on a Ford truck chassis. It's pretty neat. A camper. Carry boy. This one's a Hilux. One of these MGs. Check it out. Sporty seat design. Whatever that means. We got some Civics. It's pretty clean. Got a B series. Got a nice civic catch. Got an Audi R8 over here. Let's check this thing out. It's pretty awesome. The APR spoiler. You got this wide body uh, 3 series, I think. Check out the Forge Carbon Fiber. Street Metal. This has the forged carbon on everything. Some nice deep dish wheels. And this Mercedes is awesome. I like the turbine wheels on it. White body Z is fucking awesome. I don't know if you can see. It's how the carbon fiber is on the whole car. Or even the seats like that. Look, it's even got a turbine. Turbine wheel piece in there. It's pretty cool. Some Isuzu trucks here. This one's for the Thailand Super Pickup Series that they raced with the Thailand Super Series. So it's a, a road racing truck. Number 69, nice. <laughs> Check out the where the radiator is in this one. Side mounted. I'm not sure what that bracket's for. And then you got the work truck style. Uh -huh. 
It's hard to get. Hard to get that whole thing in the frame. It's pretty cool trucks. Looks like we got some motorbikes over here. Yamaha Finn with some carbon fiber parts on it. Complete with basket. There's another one. I think these are all Yamaha fins over here. Whoa, this one's really raced out. Carbon fiber. The suspension it's pretty cool it's got the skinny tire oh that exhaust is pretty neat Let's see man, a little bit titanium exhaust oh the wheels are carbon fiber too Oh, look at this thing. It's like a fin and a WR had a baby. This one's like a road racing style. It's pretty cool. It's got some bigger tires on it. And it kind of has that old school Yamaha livery. All right. Now we're over at the boat section. So we got some boats and jet skis up here. Let's go wander around real quick. I don't know a whole lot about power boats, but we'll see. Oh, look at this little land sailor. This hole looks interesting. Oh, it's got a pop-up tent built into it. That's pretty neat. Never seen that on a boat. This thing's pretty big. What is this? Is the, uh... Prop supposed to be on that side. It, lo it looks backwards to me. <laughs> Got a stand up jet ski. What is this thing? Aqua cart. Look, that lady's having. Tons of fun. Huh. It's kind of neat. I wonder if this is a suspension seat. Oh, that's hard mounted. Might be a bumpy ride. So we got kayaks. We got a, a X cat over here. Let's check this thing out. Oh, look at that. Got a roller furling jib. Carbon fiber mast. What is this made out of?
the hull shape looks really fast. And it's also uh, like a jet surfboard. Oh, hence the name, Jet Surf. <laughs> Some surfboards. That looks pretty cool. I'll have to see if, uh, if there's a place to rent one of these and try sailing it. Here's one of those crazy quadcopter things. Pulse Science. Got another one over here. I like how the uh, bottom rotor blades are right in line with the pilot's head. Got some other drone kind of stuff. Big ass drones. Lots of carbon fiber on them. Pretty cool. Holy shit. Look at this thing. How many rotors is this? But it's eight, eight setups, so 16 rotors. Wow. Got, we got some paraglider stuff here. But they've got a gyrocopter over here and a little, what is this? It's like a Piper Cub. This is a Preceptor Ultra, Ultra Pub. Oh yeah, it even says Piper Cub on the tail there. Real nice Fair Lady Z. Got this bus over here. some classic cars down here there's a Lotus Elan plus two Volkswagen thing sweet Nash Metropolitan and uh, what is this a Jaguar Mercedes. Got a Porsche 356. That's a really nice one. What is this? An Alfa Romeo Giulia GT Jr. And a Citroen. It's a real nice turbo Porsche. I can't even think because that fucking model won't shut up. They have the PA over there, but their booth is over that way. It's ridiculous. This uh, Corolla, Corolla wagon. We got a Daihatsu something, Daihatsu K truck. It's pretty cool. Old MG, MGA. Over here we got a mini. Man, this thing is nice. The Beetle. See over here. Got a Fiat 500D. I don't know what the D is. Volvo Amazon. That's a wagon even. Those things are those are pretty cool cars. And we got a Corvette 
pace car. Oh, uh, we got some performance going on over here. This is the uh, Aeon booth. I think it might be uh, another Chinese EV company. Cars seem pretty neat. why everything has to be SUVs. They have one car, they have a sports car. They have a Model X knockoff. Okay, for GT sedan. Now uh, look at this thing, it's a EV Roadster, I think it's called a Via, from Changan maybe, so let's see if we can walk around. This weird little guy. It's called a Pocho or Poco. 299,000 baht little EV. It's kind of neat. Here's the little four door one. It's also weird looking. Looks like we got some EV bikes over here. It's pretty neat looking going on with the suspension. That's kind of crazy. It's a cantilever suspension on a trailing arm. Huh. We got this one that looks a little off-roady. Both look like they'd be pretty fun. So we got these. Pretty neat. Oh, this one looks cool. Or at least the colors do. Front end's a little odd. Oh, this RC course looks awesome. Got a Land Rover Defender there. It's all super fun. Got a Bronco. Check out all these scooters. I don't think I've heard of this brand. Skomadi. It says it's British. Adventure series. Check out these cyclone bikes. This one looks pretty cool. It's 
it's like all adventurized. It's like it's a parallel twin. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing the SR400 is uh, 400cc. This looks pretty neat. Scooters too. This one looks pretty cool. This kind of adventure bike. All right, here we go, Royal Enfields. Check this one out. I like this Meteor 350. It's pretty cool. And they got the new Himalayan. Or is this the old one? Oh, uh, it's the 411. So I guess it's the old one. There's a new one out. It's a Himalayan Scram. This is more of a scrambler style. Yeah, maybe the new Himalayan comes out next year. So I saw on Itchy Boots channel, she is riding the new one in India, but it was a pre-production model. All right, here's the Suzuki booth. This is what I wanted to see. Here's the V-Strom SX. I don't know why they keep, why they're still calling it a V-Strom when it's got a parallel twin in it. Or a single. Is it just a single now? Yep, yeah, looks like it's just a single. But I think this is a 250cc. Bergman scooter over here. We got the big V-Strom. Got another one that's all kitted out. It's pretty red. Yeah, Thai Adventure, cool chair. I would like a cool chair. V-Strom DE. This thing looks quite a bit bigger. Oh, it's 800. Let's go look at the other ones. Oh, that's cool. It's got the uh, adjustable windshield. I wish my old one had that. And got the tiny adventure bike. It's a crossover. <laughs> the Raider J. It's just like a cub with a dirt bike fender on the front. I think they used to have those in the Philippines and then they brought it over here. And then we got this crossover. See, crossovers are different here. And then we got a Hayabusa. You know, engine donor for cappuccinos. What else we got? 
We got another Bergman. We got some GSXRs, GSXR 150. See how this thing is. So GSXR 1000. So GSX-8S, no idea. Looks like a parallel twin in there. You got a Suzuki Raider. These things are pretty cool. I still haven't driven one of these uh, underbone bikes yet. Like the Yamaha Exciter, the Raider, uh, and I forget what the Honda one is. You got the Suzuki Smash, that's their equivalent to the Honda Wave. Got a couple other scooters. You know, I don't really see very many Suzuki scooters when I'm walking around. Like what size is this? Uh, how how many uh, CC? Uh, I think so. Two. Oh, okay. So this is a one twenty five, and this this and this one two five. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so these are all one twenty fives, and then the Raiders are one fifty. Oh, check out this Yamaha PG-1. It's like their version of a uh, Honda Trail 125. This looks pretty cool. It's got a pretty beefy rack on it. And you got uh, foot guards there that the Trail 150 doesn't have. I'll have to see if I can find some specs on this thing. Here we got a T-Max, 560cc. And we got an X-Max right here. And then well, on the other side of these people is the N-Max. It's that one right there. So the N-Max is the 150 and this is a 300. Models here. Here we got the adventure bikes. It's a Tenere 700. This thing's awesome. All right, here are two bikes that I'm actually looking at buying. I mean, used ones, not new ones, but they're the same bikes: the uh, XR, XSR 155 and the WR 155R. They have the same engine. I think the gearing is probably a bit different. The WR probably has the best suspension travel for some of the shitty Bangkok roads. I'm gonna go sit on them. Here's the Honda booth. Got the new Trans Alp. The XADV. It's a Africa twin. There we go. The Scrambler looks pretty nice. The Honda Monkey. We got the new Dax here. So it's built on the kind of the same architecture as the the other Cub bikes. They all kind of use the same engine. All right, so we got Mitsubishi. Got a lot of cars. 
We got some of the trucks, the athlete. Got the Triton. See the Tritons every once in a while. There's the all new Triton. Here's a pretty cool Triton. I don't think I would drive one that's slammed like that and with that body kit on Bangkok streets though. So. It looks pretty cool. Check out the Hyundai Envision 74. This thing looks awesome. It looks more like the DeLorean than the new DeLorean. Man, this thing is so cool. got one of their rally cars looks like they didn't even clean it after it got used last i20 wrc that's pretty awesome what the hell is this it's a new hyundai too much glare. Look at the hatch on this. What the fuck? Is this whole thing like the tail light? It just goes all the way around. <laughs> Some wheels are gigantic. All the Hyundai vans and SUVs and stuff. There's tons of people looking at all this trash, but hardly anyone's looking at the 74 or whatever that concept car was. Here's the MG booth. Let's go over here. It's the Cyberster. This is a, one of the cars I wanted to come here for. Look at this thing. So this is an EV, an EV Roadster. Badges on it because MG is Chinese. There's so many Chinese EVs here, it's crazy. Check it out, MG even has a pickup, so it doesn't look too bad. Aside from you know the half size bed, all right, here's some cool EVs to check out the Nada. They're all sports cars. There's the Nega GT Speedster. room for your helmet in the back that's really cool I'm not a fan of the tablet 
in the middle like everything's doing now. Other than that, they look pretty cool. Let's go look at the back of this one. This seems cool. I really like this blue. Here's the new Hilux Champ. This thing's supposed to be a really cheap alternative to a regular Hilux pickup. See, 577,000 baht. I think it's not supposed to have AC or like any real creature comforts. Alright, here's the interior. Oh, it does have power windows. I heard it was supposed to get cranks, but look how simple the seats are. <laughs> look, it's got the tray sides. It's got a plastic liner. Here's a Hilux Champ RV. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get. All right, here we go. Uh, it's got a diesel. It's a sweet Hilux Revo. Check out this Hilux Champ. How long, how long this is going to take for it to be in the Super Series or see it go down a drag strip. Isuzu D-Max Limit Pitching Low They're at the Porsche booth I like the color on this Taycan Here's the Lotus Amira Looks awesome. And here's their new SUV that they're making for some reason. Just light it on fire. Some great wall, like Bronco knockoff. There's a graffiti one. Of course, one with a rooftop tent. Oh, it's the Great Wall Motors tank. All right, that's it. I'm leaving. I'm tired of being here. People walking into my shots constantly, walking into me. And it's just too fucking loud. And I don't really give a shit about half of the cars here because they're all stupid looking SUVs. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, there's some Bentleys over there and some other super rich people cars that I don't really care that much about anymore. Uh, they're neat when you see them out in the wild, but for the most part, I don't give a shit. I'll never own one, so who cares? All right, I will see you guys in the next one. I thought the rainy season was supposed to be over.